Hi pilots, welcome to the EUCM E120S FC helicopter review video. Let's start with what you get in the box. This is a binded fly version. On the box you get some basic information about the helicopter. Main rotor diameter is 290 millimeters. So in the box you get a nice colored user manual. The manual covers some basic information like how to set pitch and throttle curves, which type of receivers you can use and some other basic stuff. Spare parts are also listed in the manual. In the box you get a basic USB charger spare set of tail and main blades and basic tools. As you can see, helicopter comes nicely packaged and it is well protected for shipping. Helicopter frame is mostly made out of plastic. The tail boom is made out of carbon fiber Blade grips are made out of plastic. Landing skits are made out of flexible nylon material. Here you can see brushless main, or main motor. The tail motor is coreless brushed. Here you can see that I already reinforced the canopy by fibergrass reinforced tape, flexible landing skits, flight controller allows you to use SBUS receivers or DSM-X Spectrum satellite receivers battery has a capacity of 500 milliamp hours and it is 2s it fits in the helicopter by friction the helicopter uses metal gear servos so hi pilots welcome to the second part of my Yushin e120s review video at this part of the review, I'm going to talk about my flying experiences with my he new helicopter. At this point of the video, I already accumulated about 100 flights or so. To be able to achieve so many flights in just one week, I was uh, using 8 LiPo batteries. Now, this is my charging setup. I'm using one of my old parallel charging boards. Uh, I don't use this type of connectors anymore, but still this charging board is still very useful for charging this type of batteries. So I plug this XT60 into my charger and also this uh, balancing plug. And with this setup I can charge six 2S LiPo batteries at the same time. As you can see here, I'm using all kinds of 2S LiPo batteries for this helicopter. So here we have, for example, a 2S 350 milliamp hours GNB battery. Here we have some OMP Hobby M1 LiPo batteries, which are also 2S 350 milliamp hours. And of course, I also use stock battery, which is 500 2S uh, LiPo battery. Now, how all these different batteries fit into the helicopter? I will show you. Now, of course, the stock battery fits the helicopter perfectly. It's a friction fit of course now 
The other two battery types that I use are smaller than the stock one. But uh, you can also use it. You see, this battery is from my own Peak Hobby M1 helicopter. Let's focus. Let's focus. And to be able to use this smaller type of battery in this helicopter, uh, I had to put this spongy foam, which is, is about 3 or 4 millimeters thick. And like this, I can easily use MP Hobby M1 batteries also. It fits, it, it, it gets enough of friction so there, there is no worries of uh, falling off during the flight. Now I also use this GNB 2S LiPo battery. Um, this is not so convenient to use, but you can use it. So how I mount this is like this. It, 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 there is no friction fit in this case, but the battery still stays in the helicopter nicely. Now the XT30 connector, I just squeeze it underneath the canopy, like this. And the battery can fall out during the flight. Now, with all of these types of batteries, I can easily get 4 minutes of flight time with mixed throttle uh, curves, you know, with, with mixed head speeds. Uh, for just normal flying, you know, normal sport flying, you can easily get 6 minutes of flight time. Now, this helicopter is uh, designed mostly for beginners in 3D helicopter flying. So, um, it flies very stable. It uh, does not have any um, weird behavior. Um, but uh, for more experienced pilots that want to fly, you know, more aggressive 3D flying, in that case the motor will bog down because it doesn't have enough torque. And the main, uh, so the tail motor is brushed in this case. It uses a small, a coreless brushed motor, but. Uh, even though it's a burst tail motor, the tail holds quite well. Tail will blow out just in cases of uh, high torque to prevent uh, tail blowouts. What you can do is to lower the, uh, the maximum main rotor pitch angles. And uh, you have to fly, you know, in the limits of this helicopter. Now, during all these flights, I didn't find any issues whatsoever. But there was one exception. When I performed about, I don't know, 80 flights, let's say, there was one issue. I crashed, but I didn't do anything wrong. You see, what happened is, when this helicopter was shipped out of the factory, do you see this center ball? This is swash plate, of course, and this center ball was not greased, it was not lubricated when it came out of the factory. And 
this is is an issue because during you see when I started flying and I performed about 80 flights this center ball because it was not lubricated it slowly was getting smaller and smaller because the friction was eating out slowly the material and it got to the point when this ball got so small that it was able to pop out of the socket and when that happened during the flight the helicopter crashed of course but luckily this helicopter survived that crash without any damage now I could have easily prevent this if I would notice that this part was not lubricated but I didn't so what I suggest to you when you get this helicopter check uh, see carefully that this part is lubricated if it's not lubricated you have to apply some grease you know or oil onto this part and also I suggest you to, to, to lubricate the main shaft also so the swash plate will go up and down easily now because I didn't I was able to push this ball that fall out of the swash plate easily inside the socket again but I didn't want to use it again because I knew that sooner or later it will pop out again so I was searching for a solution and then have found a solution about in a 10 minutes or so so I used to own two OMP Hobby M1 helicopters now I only own one heli oh, only own one because I crashed uh, my first one so I have a lot of uh, spare parts from my OMP Hobby M1 helicopter and I found out that I can easily use a swash plate from OMP Hobby M1 helicopter and I have done this my Eoshin E120S now has a metal swash plate um, that is well lubricated <laughs> so I'm hoping that uh, it won't fail but otherwise I'm really happy with the performance of this helicopter you know it's it's so fun to fly I have never flown 100 flights in one week it, and, I, and I have many 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 helicopters you know if you can see there there's just some of my helicopters just just some and I have never performed 100 flights in one week with any of my helicopters you know ju that just says about how fun this helicopter is to fly even though it's not a high performer it's still so fun to fly you know it's so cheap if you crash you won't have a headache you know, I used to fly a 700 size helicopters you know luckily I have never crashed that one but if you crash a bigger helicopter you have a lot of worries you know so would I recommend this helicopter I would recommend this helicopter for you know for someone that wants to learn how to fly 3D um, and it is also um, you know even though if you are let's say more experienced RC helicopter pilot you will still find a joy to fly this helicopter because I don't know what is so special but I really like it now you can expect quite a lot of flight videos in the future of this helicopter because I I can already see that I, I will fly a lot 
Now the helicopter is so small you can take it and fly it almost anywhere, you know. It doesn't make a lot of noise, so you know batteries are cheap. You know, a battery like that doesn't cost a, a lot of money. Okay pilots, so stay tuned for more videos of this helicopter. I will have a dedicated playlist of videos uh, of me flying with this helicopter where you will be able to see how it performs, how it flies and uh, we'll see you there. Thank you for watching this uh, review video. If you have any questions you can post them down below in the comment section and I will try to answer uh, the questions as well as I can. See you guys and happy flying, bye! Thank you.